<clears throat> this is for those of you that have to uh, remediate on the outline uh, because of some sort of confusion. So let's talk about the outline. Here's our prompt. It says, in the novel Hatchet by Gary Paulson, you read the unbelievable story of Brian Robson, a 13-year-old that survived a plane crash in the Canadian wilderness in his quest to survive. Brian underwent countless challenges that changed him, but none as dramatic as when the rescue plane flew by without noticing him. Brian credited this event as transformational because it was at this point that his hope of being rescued died and where his new tough hope, the hope of being able to survive alone in the wilderness, was born. And then here's the big question that you're answering in your argument, your super claim. How did Brian reveal this new tough hope? All the events that happened before that plane flew by, that rescue plane flew by, do not relate with this, okay? That means the porcupine attack, um, the fact that he stored his eggs that he found from the turtles, his uh, journey to find to build fire. None of that has to do with his, his new tough hope. Because before that plane, that rescue plane flew by, he had a different kind of hope. It wasn't that tough hope. It was a hope to be rescued. His tough hope is the hope to survive alone in the wilderness, no matter what, by himself. That means that when you go to your dynamic character trait outline, first of all, I noticed a couple people had used examples B and C. Um, remember, these were just examples I showed you so that you would know how to do it on your own. We're not talking about how he's one with nature or how he's humbled. We worked together and we came up with how he was resilient, how he learned the lesson of uh, being resilient after the porcupine attack, but, is, but does that take place after the plane flew by? No, it takes place before. So most of you will find your examples of how he was re resilient in columns E and beyond, maybe D, but you should have three examples about how he was resilient, how he was resilient or prudent, how he learned to survive in the woods, or how he was prudent. Those are pretty much the arguments that we're writing for this essay. Now, <clears throat> another major issue I found was that people didn't have outlines complete, or they didn't have them complete well. Your argument would be this. It's going to be something like this. Brian revealed his new tough hope by being resilient, right? Your claims. He uh, kept a positive attitude after um, being attacked by vicious animals, okay? If you want to simplify it, say positive attitude after being attacked by vicious animals. Um, rebuilt shelter after tornado would be another example um, of course you could say that his uh, determination to get the survival pack showed resilience because there are a lot of problems with that but what this means is each paragraph has to be about this claim CEJ stands for Claims, evidence, and justification. These are your claims. What you were supposed to do if you had watched the other video was come to your dynamic character trait outline, copy your claim, your evidence, and your justification. That's rows 1, 3, and 5. And then you were supposed to paste them and then make them sound clear by adding transitional words or phrases, which are the words that are in bold right now. Okay, if you're confused on how to do the body, then you need to pause this video and look at this example. What you'll notice um, is that 
I, this is what I pasted from column, or excuse me, row one. This is my evidence, what I pasted from row three. This is my justification, what I pasted from row five. To make it sound smooth, I added transitional words and phrases. Always think about how it sounds when you read it. Imagine how it's going to sound when the whoever's reading your essay reads it. And if it will make sense to them, you have to put yourself in the position of your reader. Do you provide enough information for them to understand it? Final thing, your introduction. The gap. Grabber. Argument. Preview. Listen. Let's not even focus on the grabber right now. Let's just focus on the argument. Your argument is basically stating what you've written at the top of your outline. Up here I wrote, being alone in the wilderness led to immediate changes in Brian Robson. So my argument is this. Now, for the reader, to help the reader understand what I'm talking about and who Brian Robson is, I have to mention the name of the book and the author. In the novel, Hatchet by uh, Gary Paulson, the protagonist, Brian Robson, learned how being alone in the wilderness can lead to major changes. There you go, that's my argument. Now my preview is gonna be just listing these claims. There were many ways in which the wilderness changed Brian, such as making him, or actually let's just make it even more simple. The wilderness made Brian more one with nature, humble, and resilient. And so what you got right there is a two sentence introduction that states my argument and previews my claims. As long as you can get this thing done, as long as you can have this portion done, you can focus on the grabber at a later date. But make sure that your introduction looks like this. If some, but of course, make sure it's related to your particular argument and claims.